Hey up troops, it's A Littleton here again, and look where we are, we're at back CEO on Consulate, and we're going to go through how to attack their site, which I believe is way simpler than people make it. So I just want to say a quick thank you to a viewer, on the last video on the how to attack villa video, Big Brain B commented with a, a checklist of how we should format these how to attack videos, and I've saved it on my PC, and I've saved it in a notepad, and I sort of referred to that checklist, there's only five points, I've put it on the screen so you can see it here. But it's a really good format of how to do it and i've tried to sort of follow that with this video so appreciate you commenting that mate and uh, yeah i'm definitely going to use that so thank you so yeah i know console is getting a rework soon but hopefully you can get some more wins on the next sort of like however many months it is two months or so before the next season month and a half maybe fingers crossed this will get you a couple more wins and we'll do this again when the console rework comes out now i don't normally get these in my videos i try not to put it in but just do us a favor if you're watching the video today and it's helped you out hit the subscribe button it really helps me out and it makes me day. Thanks very much. That's enough waffling. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, then here we are in CEO on Consulate. Smoke's going to be a volunteer for this one. And just to go over the, the sort of site showcase slash brief overview, which it says in that checklist, which we're again very kindly provided. Um, what we want to be doing here is planting behind the desk and behind the bomb in this area here. You want to be planting roughly this area and you're going to get some cover from the bomb there and some cover from the chair on the rotate. Now you want to be coming through the right hand window when you're repelling to just give you as much uh, of cover as you can from being swung from long desk. Obviously you've really got to watch connector as you come in but we'll talk about how you get around that in a second. So that's the ultimate goal is we come through this window, we plant behind this desk here and it's absolutely free cheese. So let me just go through how we start that then so we're going to start out and spawn with the drone we're going to be spawning gas station now the thing you've got to do when you spawn gas station is you've really got to watch out for the spawn peak from ceo but i'll show you how you get around that now as well now when you spawn ceo when people are spawn peaking ceo they're always going to be looking at this angle here onto the dustbin onto the side of the trash can or the dumpster or whatever you want to call this wherever you are in the world right the way you get around that is by coming out at this angle here and not this angle so what you want to do is in the prep phase, move your drone over to where I'm going to show you now. I'm going to put your drone here and just leave it on this pillar. And from this pillar, you're going to be able to see if anyone's speaking yellow, uh, speaking, that's spawn and peak speaking. If anyone's spawn peaking yellow stairs here or the CEO windows here and just keep it here, you're going to be able to see that. You're also going to be able to hear the yellow window, which is here if anyone breaks that. Just leave it on this pillar for the prep phase. And just have an idea if anyone's spawn peeking. As you come through gas station, what you want to do is you want to be moving over to the right hand side here, but ADS in the window. Now, as you ADS the window and you get to sort of this angle, you want to crouch, move to the right, and you can just see there's a slither of barricade there. If you one tap that there, you'll kill whoever it is that's peeking on that window. If that, because they're going to be looking at this area here. So you've just you just be careful if they're spawn peeking. I will challenge that from here because this is usually a good way to counter it by being on this right hand side. Just peeking the other side of this wall as you come around. Make sure you line it up as you come around the window though. As you come around the wall, sorry. Ready to just one tap there, okay? And then obviously as you're moving towards it, keep keep tapping it. Keep letting them know you're there. Make sure there's no one yellow stairs. What I then tend to do is just come and sit here for a second and just see if anyone peeks it again from this angle. Because again, they're going to be looking over here, not here. Once we've achieved that, you then want to start making your way to the building. Air jab off the yellow stairs. Pick up your drone. Open the CEO windows. Like so. Right, that's the sort of start of the round um, in the back. Now, what we want to do is, first of all, we're safe here. So you know that no one's going to be running out of, uh, of yellow stairs. Also, I know I've opened the barricade because I came downstairs from being in CEO at the start of the video. Don't open the yellow stairs uh, barricade if you don't need to. If no one's entering there, which I don't recommend you do anyway, leave that barricade closed. It's another sound cue that you'll know someone might be pushing there. Right, the next thing that you need to do is you need to see if the enemy has reinforced top yellow. Now, you're hoping they are. So you throw a drone up onto the roof. Jump up here onto the skylight. Don't just throw the drone through the skylight. You want to save your drones. Come all the way around the skylight here. And leave your drone here for a second. And just have a look at the state of this wall. If, and players still do this, if you're defending consulate, never ever reinforce this wall. And I'll come on to why in a second. But if that wall is reinforced, 
free cheese. This is going to be even easier than it is if that isn't reinforced. So what you're going to do is, first of all, see if that's reinforced, then jump your drone to the other side and see if there's anyone playing yellow stairs. And you need to drone this area out. Usually there's going to be a Jaeger with a couple of ADSs here and here. And this is the person you're going to need to clear. So ideally, you're going to be using three attackers here. You're going to have a Nomad, a Capitao, and a Flores, probably. Now, what you're going to do is to check the, the, the walls reinforced or not, and then check if there's any ADSs or if anyone's playing yellow stairs. If the wall's reinforced, it doesn't matter if anyone's playing yellow stairs. So if this wall, this one will usually be reinforced anyway. And these two walls, if all three of these are reinforced, don't, it doesn't matter if there's five people playing yellow stairs. Makes no odds. The reason you worry about people playing yellow stairs if these walls are soft, let me just come in and show you. If some, And you should do this if you're defending, by the way. If someone's playing yellow stairs and the walls are soft, you generally have like a line of sight here and a line of sight here. And if they're playing yellow stairs, they can hold the window jump in from here. Whichever line of sight you want to use. You usually use this one because to peak this line of sight means you're free from the, the skylight. So from here, you can hold the jump in. If this um, wall is reinforced or these walls are reinforced, the only place you can be held on the jump in from is here in, uh, in baguette or from the rotate here. So again, check that that's reinforced. If it is reinforced, great. You don't need to worry about yellow stairs. If it's not reinforced, we need to worry about yellow stairs. And the way you worry about yellow stairs is by getting that Flores to do exactly what I just did with my drone. So you, you get a Flores drone, you jump it through the skylight, you come around here, blow the Flores drone up, and that'll get rid of any of the ADSs. The Flores can also get rid of any barbed wire or goo mines or whatever it else he says that's on yellow stairs, okay? Then what you want to do, your next object or your next uh, challenge is the idiot, I say idiot, just because it annoys me when people play here, because it can be tricky to get rid of, is the person playing here, okay? So your Nomad is going to be coming to these windows, your Flores is on the roof taking care of yellow stairs, and then your, your other player, your third player, can either, depending on who they're playing, if they've got grenades, can come to piano window and literally grenade that guy off this spot. This spot is right there, that's how easy it is. You cook a grenade from here, blow it up there, he's a goner. It's, it's so free to get rid of. Teams really struggle to get rid of that person playing there. It's so easy to get rid of. Also, bear in mind, if that player is playing here or on the hatch, again, you can grenade from below. However, if they're playing here, you can't grenade from below um, from the uh, piano windows. Or if they're playing there and the rotates in the side that it is now, you can get an angle right through from connector window onto the guy that's playing there. Now, depending on the size of the rotate as well, this is a pretty big rotate, right? And when you go higher up, higher up the window, the smoke won't be able to see us there, but we can see his knees. So again, you can get rid of that player playing in that angle by just being on this rappel. Now, what you've got to worry about here is anyone running out of projector or front door or even piano sometimes, but mainly these two. So you've got to just communicate with your team a little bit and say, look, I'm going to get the guy out of back CEO. Someone watch the projector or front door run out. Or... You don't. You, the whole point of this strat is to use the air jabs for um, preventing the the plant denial, the post plant stuff. So you don't really want to be using air jabs if you can avoid it. Just have somebody watch it for twenty seconds, thirty seconds, whilst you just get rid of this guy here. Now I know when we're doing these how to attack videos, a lot of what I'm talking about is like, oh, you just do this, you just do that, and make it sound very simple. It's not very simple, and it can be really tricky. But so first things first, we make sure yellow stairs is clear. If the walls are not reinforced. You need to clear the guy who's playing yellow stairs. You can do that by grenading from the skylight and using Flores to get rid of the ADSs. Then, once we know back CEO is clear and we're only being held from either baguette or connector, we then look at what we need to do in terms of Nomad. So we want to flashbang through the window first to make... Well, I say flashbang through the window first. I usually do that because my drone gets destroyed. However, if you can drone it and make sure there's no ADSs, great. However... If you can't drone it, just throw a flashbang through before you throw an air jab through. Because if there's an ADS or a WMI magnet, the flashbang will get swallowed by the ADS, not the Nomad jab. So, then you want a Nomad above the double door, but don't be like this. Don't sort of take your time. You want to be just sort of, you know it's roughly here, so you want to pop up, get the air jab down, pop down. Then you want to do the same with connector. So that rotator is now down, right? So, any enemy, presuming this guy isn't here, obviously, let's move the smoke now. Hang on. Let me just jump on the other PC. Uh, let's move the smoke to connector. 
Oh, of course the air jab's gone off, Andy, you idiot. As if I didn't think that the air jab would go off. Right, let's just put the smoke here for now. Let's pretend that air jab's still there, as if I've just done that. What a clown. Right, so... We now know back CEO is clear, right? The only place a defender can get to where you are now is coming through this double door that has got an air jab on, remember? Or coming through this rotate. So, as you repel in, you want to ideally have a capital or somebody with smokes. And you want to smoke off there on the double door. And you want to smoke off connector. That means you can repel in free of charge. Remember, if there's somebody yellow stairs holding this angle, you've got to get rid of them. You can't repel in with this wall soft, otherwise you'll die at the yellow stairs. And you repel in through the right window. Now we're here, we can plant. Now the other thing is, of course, this is a soft floor. You've got to watch that guy below. Okay, so the person who throws the grenade to clear the smoke out from here, it was on piano windows, could arguably just stay on piano windows all round. Piano is a really popular spot for a rotate. Make sure you destroy this default cam. Piano is a really popular spot for a rotate. Once you've cleared them out with a grenade, you can literally just stall this angle here. And anyone that comes through, typically from anti-chamber, going towards yellow stairs, they're not going to think someone's on repel. And you're going to, if you kill them, you're going to get in the all chat. What are you doing there? Why are you sat there? It happens all the time. But you're going to get some, either pulse sometimes or solely, sort of whoever it is from below, Valkyrie maybe, going to try and see for you from below to stop the plant. With this person here, you're going to be able to stop that, okay? Now, the other thing you need to think about, yes, we air jabbed off yellow stairs, but there's another run out to think about here as well. There is a run out from piano that some people do sometimes. And if the, you, you can't stop all the run outs on consulates, you've just got to be aware. With If the run out from piano, you generally get enough time to turn upside down and look at this angle. Like when the, the person who runs out gets here, you've generally got enough time to turn around. Obviously, if you've still got the guy on piano repel, you don't have to worry about that. But the run out you do need to worry about, with Oryx being so popular at the minute, is this run out. Is from here and from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause it quickly. I'm going to swap over to Capital and I'll show you how to get around that. So we've got Capital now. The other worry, uh, the other worry, the other runabout that you need to... <laughs> the other runabout that you need to worry about. The other run out that you need to worry about. That's staying in the video. I'm not cutting that out. The other run out that you need to worry about is through this garage door. What people will do is impact this or Oryx dash this. Run this way, turn around and catch with your trousers down here on the window. Now it's really difficult to stop that because before you know where they've ran out, you can't turn around far enough. You have to invert the, the rappel and, and try and look down. It's really difficult to stop. Almost impossible, really. However, there's a way around it. No defender is expecting claymores here. No defender. So use this square on the on the tarmac here as a bit of a, a guide. So you want to use that square there and then line it up again with this side because you don't know which side they're going to run out. But you're not going to need... It's a little bit too close. Bring it back a little bit. You're not going to need hard breach charges with Capital, right? So you don't need to bring hard breach charges. Those two claymores there, I can guarantee you, will work 99 times out of 10. Way out. Um, I've got his army on the other PC. I'm just going to impact the door. You can see that the... And as I've run out... The Azami, I can guarantee, will already be running as that impact goes off. Like, it will be already running out and won't even look at the fact that there's claymores there. If they do see that there's claymores there, that isn't the end of the world. The fact that it'll stop them in the tracks, you'll hear the impact go off below, right? The claymores will... I mean, let me just run around and show you what it looks like for the Azami. They'll see that go off, and the, even if they get to here and go, oh, shit, you can... You can, with these claymores, get them a little bit closer, but you can get them too close so the impact destroys the claymore. So here is perfect for me. Because they'll run out and they'll go, oh, crap. And it's going to delay them enough that you'll hear the impact go off. But not only will you hear the impact go off, they'll have to stop and destroy the claymores. Because if they don't destroy the claymores, if they try and run out like this, it takes so long to get there, you're going to know about it. Now, one thing to remember is if you find yourself in a, a sort of pickle where you know you're being shot from behind or you're going to be shot from behind... If you're not mad confident on turning around and inverting the rappel to stop that run out like this. So if you're on the rappel here, the easiest way to stop this is to press C, turn around, and hold it from here. If you're not crazy confident with doing that, because I don't like... I'm not very good at rappelling upside down. Just hold shift, and you'll drop to the bottom. And once you're on the bottom of the rappel, even if you're like here, you can't be seen from the bottom of there. You can come off the rappel completely, and you're never going to... You know, they're never going to run this far out. That's crazy far. So if you hear that impact and you're not sure about it and you're holding an angle here or something, just press shift and drop to the bottom of the rappel. Don't worry about like moving side to side or trying to turn around or going inverted and looking up. And th My sense is super low. So for me to be like here, 
to turn around and then go up. I, I will literally run out of mouse, pa mouse mat to do that. So if you hear it and you're panicking, just hit shift and bail out of there. Okay, so when it comes to Capitao's job of getting Nomad into the building, let's just open these windows quickly. Remember, we've got the air jab here. Hello, smoke. And we've got the air jab on the rotate that's there. The air jab there. Right, what you then need to do is Capitao. It's pretty simple, this. Get your crossbow out. Remember, it's always on fire to start with. If you're not sure what you're on, and the, I mean, the, the icons down on the bottom right are not com like massively easy to tell the difference from. You just um, look at the color of the cartridge. Smoke is blue. Fire is orange. So it's an easy way to tell. Remember, you're always on fire to begin with, so you want to swap to uh, to smoke. And you just want to smoke off the double door. Remember, don't just stand in the middle of the window and, aim, you know, go like this. You want to just aim it straight away. Also, Capitao's, you can see this if you see my Capitao video. Capitao's smoke bolt sticks to the surface that you fire it at, okay? So if you were to fire it at this wall here, the smoke would be here. It doesn't drop to the floor. The fire does. If you, fi if you shoot the fire at this, the top of this wall, it'll drop to the bottom. Whereas the smoke, it sticks to the surface you fire it at. So you do need to aim it at the floor here. So you're going to smoke off here, you're going to smoke off here, and then the Nomad can go in, right? So, smoke, smoke, and the Nomad can repel in, okay? And from that, I mean, you see, there's literally nothing that the enemy can see from there. And remember that after the patch in a couple of weeks, the, the duration of smokes, uh, Capitao smokes, is longer as well, so it's going to be even better. And at this point, Nomad's planting. Now, this is where Capitao comes into his own on the post plan here. You remember what I just told you about the fire bolts? Once you hit the ceiling, they do drop, or just onto the floor. The first thing defenders are going to do is trying to get rid of all the other players that are on the team, but then they're also probably going to realize that someone's still on repel on the on the post plant, okay? So what you can do as Capitao is you know that the diffuse is here, right? Once you're on repel, you can use the fire bolts to stop anyone getting anywhere near that diffuser. Swap over to fire. You know that the diffuser's there, so if you aim for the, the ceiling about here, the fire bolt will hit and then drop to the floor, and no one's getting anywhere near that diffuser. And remember, you've got two fire bolts as well, so don't waste them. This is post plan stuff. So again, what, I, I can't remember how long Capitao's fire bolts last. Is it sort of 10 or 12 seconds or something like that? But again, even if it's 12 seconds, that's 24 seconds. It's a decent amount of time. You want to be doing this towards the end of the diffuser time, though, right? You don't want to be letting anyone get anywhere near there. I mean, just it's so strong. And obviously, just waiting here. You don't need to peek. Do not peek. Please don't be like this. Oh, no, I'm just waiting. He's going to walk this way. Don't peek. You don't need to. Just wait here. Remember, someone can jump out the window. You get defenders doing that sometimes. If there's two defenders left alive, one of them will sacrifice themselves to jump out the window. So, you know, go like this. Just be ready for that and just start. Make sure that you're ADSing the windows. Getting ready if someone jumps out. They aren't going to know what side you are. Key to repelling as well is don't leave your rope over the window. Like, don't wait like this. Because they know which window you're at then, yeah? They know you're exactly below that rope. Just move the rope away from the windows, whichever side you want to go. I recommend being on the right, but you can do that there. Make sure your rappel isn't uh, isn't shown on the windows. Like, don't leave it like that, because then it's obvious where you are, right? There you go. You've just attacked CEO. All you need to do, in summary, is clear yellow stairs. If these walls are reinforced, amazing, because you don't have to worry about getting shot from yellow stairs as you come through here. On the flip side, if you're defending, don't reinforce these walls. Don't do it. Place them on yellow stairs. Just remember as well, I haven't got a shotgun here, but let's try and make some holes. It's going to take me forever. You should, As a defender, you should always do this. We've completely gone off topic here, but I don't care. You should always open feet holes along that wall. Because then if you ever need to take back CEO, you need to retake it. From here, you've got an angle towards the back of the desk, and you can stop that. You must remember not to reinforce those walls. because I mean, you can reinforce them, but it just makes life a million times more difficult for you. So... In fact, you know what? And I said you can do them. No, you can't. Don't do it. But everyone does it. Everyone at the start of the prep phase. Everyone goes, oh, better reinforce these. Don't do it. You don't really need to play anyone at the back here because it's such a dangerous place to play. It's completely soft floor. You can get grenaded from below, as we've seen. You can get shot from... Um, if you're an attack, if you're a defender, by the way, you can get shot from this window if it's soft. You can get shot from the skylight when usually you have an ace that opens a line of sight along here. A shot from connector, it's not a good place to play. There's a lot of danger. Now, what's a lot easier is to play the the um, instead of like standing here, is to just stop the attackers repelling in when they attack in by using these or by swinging the connector or playing below. There's just better ways to defend this than staying at the back. Okay. We digressed again. I got our waffle on so much, okay? So that's it really.
clear yellow stairs if it's not reinforced. Get rid of the ADSs and get rid of that Jaeger that's on there. You then want to go to connector window and clear the guy that's playing here if there is one playing here. If not, you can go to piano. Uh, sorry, if you don't go connector window, you can go to piano window and grenade from below and get rid of the person there. Once we've done that, we air jab off here and we air jab off here. And then once we've done that, we smoke here and smoke here. Or you could ying as well if you don't smoke. You could throw a couple of candalas through. But yeah, we take capital for the claymores as well as the fire for the post plants as well. You want to be planting behind the chair so you're covered from connector, but the bomb also covers you somewhat from long desk as well. So you want to be sort of back here, really, somewhere like that. If Nomad's still alive after the plant's gone down, get out of the building. So once the plant's gone down, if Nomad hasn't been shot from connector because the smoke's gone or whatever... If the Nomad's alive, try and get out the windows. Just remember that as soon as you turn your back to run out the windows, someone's probably going to swing you from here. So try not to turn your back too much. But it is beneficial if you can get outside. Or, if you're absolutely off your head as Nomad, once you've planted, and this is getting really aggressive, depends how you're feeling on the day. If you're confident with your gun skills, just get going. Just start pushing. Whatever it is you choose to do. But don't, remember, if you push this far on connector, you're wide open to yellow stairs. You should never, ever lose a CEO attack again, in theory. So there we have it. That's how in a perfect world we attack CEO. Now, I know we only need three players, even maybe two players to do what I've just shown you. But obviously, every round's different. One of your teammates gets spawn peaked or your entry dies on the way in or whatever it is that happens. I know that's in a perfect world. But if you aim to do that, you're going to be in a better place. I appreciate everyone that watches these videos. Honestly, it makes me day when I see the people are actually somehow caring about what an old bald man thinks about Siege, but appreciate you watching the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!